Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to bring you guys a review of the Meros Smart Door and Window Sensor. Now this is essentially a smart contact sensor and what you're going to see throughout this video is the kit that includes the hub as well but you can buy the contact sensor separately. And firstly whilst this is marketed as a door and window sensor you can basically use it on anything where you want to detect contact broken. That means the way you're going to see it used throughout this video is on my record player. That means when the lift lids up contact is broken and I can do something to respond to that event. And this product is actually a really affordable smart home product. If you need it with the hub, it costs around £24, but if you just want it on its own, it costs £16. Now you will only need a Meros hub if you don't already have one, and each Meros hub can work with up to 16 devices. So if you already got a Meros hub, you can just buy one of these and not need the hub, but if you come up to your 17th product, it's time to get another hub. So let's talk about design. And the thing that surprised me the most when I unboxed this was just the size of it. It is a lot smaller than I was expecting, and each part has this kind of pebble-shaped design that I really like. On one side, there's a kind of flat bottom where you can attach a sticky strip, and this is how you mount it to something. The larger part of the contact sensor is also where the battery is found, and also a small pinhole in order for you to hit the reset button that's inside. Meros include a SIM release tool that you can use to do this, but something like a paperclip also does the same job. All in all, it's a nice design and it's really compact. So let's talk about specification. So firstly, Meros say it has battery life up to 18 months, and you can monitor the current battery level in the app. When that battery does run out, it takes a CR2450 battery, which you can replace yourself. And then the hub connects to your home Wi-Fi using a 2.4 gigahertz network and plugs in. And then the sensor connects to the hub, which gives you home care access and out of home control. This sensor can operate between zero and 40 degrees Celsius, and is not designed to be used outside or in wet places. And then in terms of other services it works with, it works with Apple HomeKit, it works with Amazon Alexa, and it works with SmartThings. I've only been using it with HomeKit and the Meros app. So let's talk about setup. And setting it up involves pulling the tab out of the device itself and then using the Meros app to hit the plus button in the top. You then go into sensors and pick the device you want to set up. If you're adding a new hub, it will talk you through this at the same time. Or if you've got an existing one, you can just put it into pairing mode. That's what I did. If you've already got a hub, at this point, the sensor will automatically appear in the Apple HomeKit app in the same room as your hub is. If you haven't already got a hub, it will talk you through adding this to Apple HomeKit at the same time. Now at this point, probably like me, you're going to need to rename it in both the Meros app and the Apple Home app, and in the Apple Home app, move which room you've got it in. And that's it, setup is nice and simple. So let's talk about using it. So in the Meros app, you can click into the device and see its history. You can also configure a few basic alerts in the Meros app as well. So you can get an alert when it goes from closed to open, or when it goes from open to closed. You can also get an alert when it's been open for longer than a minute or closed for longer than a minute. And then of course you get battery notifications as well. You can also set up automations based on the above in the Meros app, but what it does will generally rely on which other Meros products you've got. So for me, you can see that I could use it to control a power strip in the Meros app if I wanted to. If however, you do want to use it alongside other home devices, this is where you can be better off using it in something like the Apple Home app or your third party of choice. And in the home app, it appears as a contact sensor, which means in the room that it is in, it appears along that top bar. Here you can click it and see the status and also toggle activity notifications. Where this comes to life, however, in my opinion, is when you can tie it into automations. And I'm gonna talk about a few ways you could use this, but I'm gonna talk about how I use it first. So as I said, I have attached it to my record player. Now my record player is hooked up to a pair of speakers that I have to turn on every time I want to play music. Now these are actually connected to a smart plug along with my record player. That means I've got it set up so that when I lift the record player lid, contact is broken and it triggers those sockets to turn on. This means my speakers are only on when I want to listen to music and the record player only gets power when I want to listen to music. Alongside that, I've got it set up to turn on some lights as well behind my record player just to set the atmosphere. This works well every single time. And then when I'm done listening, I can either manually turn off that scene that triggers those three things, or if I forget to turn off the speakers and record player, I've got something set up that just turns them off later on in the evening. This goes with a scene I've got that just makes sure all lights are off at night. And this is great because it means I can literally decide to listen to some music, lift up the record player, pop the record on, and everything starts. I haven't got to reach for a remote control for speakers on my phone or something. But how else could you use one of these? Well, the most obvious is on your door or window. Maybe you want to turn on a light when the contact is broken. And maybe you only want to do that during certain times of day. You can do that in the Apple Home app using this as a trigger. You could also use something like the Meros let me know after a minute if you want to know if you've left the door open or something. Or maybe you want to attach it to your fridge and know if your fridge is accidentally left open. 
Likewise, you could use a group of these as part of a security system to know if contact is broken on one of your windows or doors when you're out. The one thing really lacking is to know if it's open for a longer period of time, because you can't set this in the Apple Home app and Meros is limited to one minute. And I guess really the ideal if you've got them on windows and doors is to know if you leave home if one of these is still open. Now you could actually achieve this with a Siri shortcut. So if you're a bit more of an advanced user and you go into Siri shortcuts, you can create a shortcut based on the status of a home app. And you can do a kind of, if this is true, then do this, otherwise do this. That means you could say, if the contact sensor is broken, let me know, send me a notification. And then you could set that shortcut up to run whenever you leave home. That means you get a notification when you leave home if you've left your window open. And really, if you can work out how to do something via Apple HomeKit or the Meros app or Siri shortcuts, you can get this to do that. And this really does open up kind of any possibility, especially for more advanced users. And in using this, I found that it responds really quickly, which is great. And it's enabled me to automate something I couldn't automate before. So all in all, what's the verdict? At a really affordable price point and a really small design, this contact center just works really well. And you can use it to automate a whole variety of things around your house, whether that's based on a door opening or your record player opening. On the Maros website, they even show it attached to a cat litter box, which is slightly odd, but if you want to know when your cat's pooping, you can get a notification. The only real negative is that you can't customise that length of time. What would be nice is if in the Meros app, you could say, if after 10 minutes it's left open, let me know. Unfortunately, at the moment, you can't do that. Other than that, though, this is a great product. If you guys have got any questions, stick them below and I will answer those for you. If you do want to pick one up, I've put links below to this product on Amazon and also on the Meros website. These links will take you to the appropriate country for where you're shopping from. I've also got a discount code for the Meros website where you can save 10%. Both of those links are affiliate links, so if you shop using that link, that just helps this channel out because this isn't something I do as a full-time job and I don't get paid to make these reviews. This is something I do just to share my reviews on the tech that I use. If you guys want to see more of my reviews, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you